You know, I always wonder why iced lemon tea was a signature item here. And check this out. This is not ice. This is actually frozen ice lemon tea cubes. So you never actually get diluted ice in your ice lemon tea. Pretty cool. Hi, you're watching Guys Sweet Eats, and we're here at Honglin uh, Market and Food Centre to try Aheng Duck Rice. The store started at Honglin Food Centre some seven or eight years ago, maybe nine about now. And Aheng does a traditional Teochew style duck rice that is virtually the same as the famous Hengji Goose and Duck Rice at Tika Centre. They used to be the store to go to for Teochew Duck and Goose a couple of decades ago. Now the couple running the stall learned the recipe from the master who used to run Hengji for some 60 years before handing it over. Uh, his name was Yang Chi Sing and he was 76 years old in 2012. So if you came to Hong Lim and then you came to Aheng Duck Rice, right, you will actually see him overseeing the operations at Aheng. But in current times, it seems that he has fully retired. Now. The guy running Aheng Duck Rice is Mai Xue Qi. He's in his early 60s now and he was a hawker assistant ever since he was 12 years old. And he runs the store with his wife and then now I think with his, um, his kids as well. And the reason why people love this store so much is because it does a very authentic Teochew style uh, duck rice uh, in Kiki Chan. So come, let's have a taste. Uh, uh, yeah, pork, yam chai, uh, egg, tau kwa, tau kwa. liver. Oh, and toy, yeah. What else? Uh? Got pig skin, got pig intestine, egg, all pig, so pig intestine, all, all so much. Give me one rice and give me one quick chop. You tau pork? Ma? Yeah. Uh, tau pork. Okay, see you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh. Okay, I'm back from the store uh, and I ordered a lot of food. Okay, I ordered basically every item that they have, almost every item. Uh. I didn't order the neck and I didn't order the feet and the wings. Uh, okay, because, um, because it's a bit more esoteric and I'll just cover the ones which uh, most people will tend to order. Like this. So what do we have? Well, it's basically every part of the duck that you can imagine. But they've also thrown in some pork items as well, like the intestines and the pork belly and so on and so forth. But first, let me explain why this stall is so good. Okay? It's really because of this gravy here. Okay, this is the reason why. The beauty about this stall is that they really have gotten that intense soya flavouring of the Teochew gravy, Teochew law. Down pat, like. It's intense with a strong savouriness, but at the same time, it's not overly salty. And the savouriness is complex, and there's virtually no sugar added. You know, and there's a lot of oil notes inside. If there's any sugar added, it is only just enough to round off the salty edges, just a bit. You also can taste very distinct spice flavours inside. Okay. Now, uh, I'm actually going to talk about the uh, the kuih chap itself, okay? Because it's been wilting and wilting and wilting. Very warm, very lightly savoury, rounded. It's basically the gravy which they've actually um, added a bit of the kuih chap water inside now. The water is a bit starched up. It has very slightly thickened up uh, the soup just a bit. Um, in fact, it's so nice that you can almost eat this on its own. There are fried onions on top, they put some Chinese parsley on top. A bit of oil notes. The kuih chap is it's still slippery soft, still a bit bouncy. It's something to fall apart a bit because I've been um, filming B-roll footage. Now let's go straight to the main event, the duck. Duck is a meat where it never gets very, very moist, lah. especially the breast meat, which is this. Hmm, okay, okay. Not as dry as it normally comes. It is cooked, but it is cooked kind of like old school style, where it is a bit firmer and not overly soft. The meat has that proper meat texture. You dip it in the gravy. 
Right. Wonderful. The pork belly. Wonderful. So the pork belly is cut thick and it comes pretty tender. The meat is not overly blanched or anything. Some places, the main complaint is that they tend to blanch everything too much. The liver. Very nicely branched. Not super soft, slightly firmer, but it's very creamy, very nice. Just how the older crowd like it. The gizzard. Firm with a nice chew, but not hard. Sometimes gizzard can be overly tough, and people don't like eating it. This one's all right. What else? Oh, the big hit, intestine. They don't sell the small intestines at all, it's only the big ones. Uh. Large, and it's um, slightly firm, slightly chewy. It's got that meltingly soft middle, wonderful. It's got a bit of that pork flavor, but it's not overwhelming. Tau Kwa, hard bean curd. Mm. No sour smell, of course. Not too firm either. It actually tilts a little bit towards the soft texture of it. Braised egg. Mm. Right. Braised egg is braised egg. Lah, you know? First it's boiled and then it's um, further flavoured in the gravy. It does have a bit of that overboard texture, but that, that's that's the case with a lot of braised eggs. Uh. So, tau pok, tofu puff. Mm. There's a bit of that added oil richness. Because tau pok's fried, nice and chewy. And they also cut it fairly thick, so it's not like thin slivers or anything like that. So there's the oil richness from the gravy, plus itself, it's like wonderful. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, this is a kiam thai, of course. Mm. Salty, crunchy, a bit of oil richness, a bit of sweetness and tanginess, but yet manages to taste fairly fresh. So when eaten with rice, it's a little bit strange, but makes sense when you eat it with good chuck. Because the soup actually dilutes the saltiness a bit. Oh, there's a pig skin. Oh, so where's the pig skin? Where's the pig skin? Oh, there we go. Now this looks very nice and soft. Oh, meltingly soft. Now, they actually have got two chilli sauces here. They have got a darker one and they've got a lighter one. Trying the lighter one first. Intensely sour, moderately spicy. And uh, I don't think there's any other flavour. It's really just intensely sour. Now, this one's a new one, where the chilli is a bit darker. Yeah, this one is slightly rounder. So there's a very slight amount of sugar added so that it's not so sour. And I think the new one actually works better. Okay, I messed up this next bit. So let me explain why it's actually very interesting that our hang duck rice has two almost identical chilli sauces. One very sour and one a bit less sour and more rounded. And it has to do with the fact that our hang duck rice learned from the master of hang ji, goose and duck rice. And I think that the owners of Ah Heng followed his recipe exactly right down to the T, even down to the exact chilli that he used. But the problem is that back then, Heng Ji used to sell braised goose. And if you've ever eaten braised goose or roast goose, the richness of the meat is incredibly, incredibly intense. So it makes sense to have a very sour chilli to cut through all the heavy richness. But then the bird flu happened in the early 2000s. And what I understand of the situation is that the AVA, the Agri-Food and Veterinary Authority, put big restrictions on the import of poultry, which means that poultry can only be imported from 14 certified bird flu-free countries. So that includes Argentina, Canada, New Zealand, but not Hong Kong or Southern China, which is where they breed the goose for roast goose and braised goose. So as a result of the AVA ruling back then, hawker stores in Singapore stopped selling goose and replaced it with duck instead, which is a much less richer meat. So as it stands in 2021, you can't get fresh goose in Singapore, but you can get frozen goose from Hungary. But it is like ridiculously expensive. Lah. 
So anyway, Aheng duck rice stuck with the traditional Teochew recipe and when you eat the super sour chilli with the braised duck, right, the chilli just dominates the whole taste even if you put just a little bit. So dipping the duck in the old chilli with a bit of the log. Yeah. It interferes a lot, lah, you know. So it just didn't make sense. And actually, the chilli was the main problem I had with Aheng duck rice for many years. I think that in recent years, the storeholders realized that they had to tweak the chilli recipe to suit duck instead of goose. Which is why there is this new redder chilli sauce which is less sour, rounder, and it pairs much better with duck. If you use a new chilli and you dip it in, mm, yeah, much more balanced. But they still offer the traditional very sour chilli sauce. And I think it's because Aheng duck rice has a lot of older customers who are still very attached to the sour sour chilli. Even though it doesn't pair as well. So that's why they kept it around. So that my friends is the story of why Aheng offers two almost identical chilli sauces. Okay, back to the vlog. Obviously when it comes to meat, right? Any meat which is um, around the breast is going to be drier than the meat which is around the bone. This is around the bone and it looks more moist. And it is more moist. So adding a bit of the pork skin, rice, a bit amount of chilli and the law. And everything just makes sense. It's rich, a bit sour, this intense soy savouriness, this meltingly soft texture is like... Um, you also put on some chopped Chinese coriander on top. And they put a lot of it. And it's nice that they actually keep the skin on the cucumber because that's where all the nutrition is. So there is actually quite a lot of vegetables left. Okay, so done. Well, I'm done. There's still a lot of food, but so I'm gonna pack out all of this. And then I'm gonna add extra food and then my wife and kids can actually enjoy it. Okay, so that was a quick look into Aheng duck rice. It is a very good place for traditional Teochew duck rice and everything is blanched properly. The ingredients which have to be treated carefully like for example pork belly where if you over blanch it it's just going to taste dry. Um, it's actually properly blanched so it's good. Lah. The only downside is the chilli sauce um, because no matter what chilli sauce you choose right even though they have taken great pains to actually um, lighten the sourness a bit um, it still is a little bit too sour for me. And you have to be very, very, very careful how much you put in. Would I travel half across Singapore to eat this? Uh, definite, absolute yes. It is so hard to find a very good traditional Teochew duck rice that it's worth coming. Because the law is, the law, the sauce is just outstandingly good. Lah. You know, and very few stalls can do it like this. So, thanks for watching another episode of Breaks Speed Eats, where I eat through the whole of Singapore. If you like this episode, give you like, subscribe, comment below, um, share with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one.